Welcome to Simulacra. I just finished Simulacra 2 on the channel and liked it so much I figured let's go back to the first one. So yeah, Simulacra made by Kaigon Games once again. Uh, let's just start playing. I've played for 20 seconds to make sure it works. Seems like the interface is really similar to the second game, so it should be pretty easy to get into it. Let's go. The menu music is intense. So the description for this says that we have the phone of a missing girl. That's all I know about the setup, which is quite different from the second game. We have a whole cutscene in the beginning establishing who you are and exactly why you have this phone. You know, a detective or a reporter trying to help Marilla solve a case. But in this case, who are we to this person who went missing? Why do we have this phone? No idea. A uh, person who went missing is Anna, apparently. Oh, yes, and um, Simulator 2 takes place in the same universe as the first game, so I'm assuming this game is also going to have the Ripple Man. So probably supernatural things afoot. Right, so here's what I've done so far. I tried to enter a password, and then things got weird. One, eight, zero, seven. Some of the text seems like it maybe said help or something like that. Maybe like Anna. Oh, no, knowing what I know from the second game, I'm going to guess Anna has been taken by the Ripple Man, is trying to communicate to us through that. Because we know there was some communication from that alternate universe to me and to the, to the phone with that whole vision of Maya in the second game. So I'm guessing that's Anna trying to help me get into the phone. Saying, save me. Um, what should we do first? Jabber stuck around for the second game, but Spark and Vlogger are different. They probably are pretty much the same once you get into them, but the names are different. I don't know why, but that interests me. Why do they go from Vlogger or Spark to Chimera? Hmm. Whoa! Okay. Entry 5.mkv. Mm. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it seems like the the interface is almost exactly the same as the second game. Super similar. Signing in. Oh, I'm supposed to remember? Ha. Huh. I don't... It, I, I know it started with a 1. I know there was a 0 in there. Um... One eight zero seven. Wait, seriously? I actually remembered it. One eight zero seven. Wow, that just felt right, but I wasn't sure that was right. I'm gonna write it down before I forget again. I only started taking notes in the second game, maybe halfway through or so. This time, I'm gonna take notes from the very beginning. I know it can be hard to find some of this stuff. Right. I never know whether the top is the oldest or the bottom. Well, I assume it'll work how it does for me in Gmail and say the bottom is the oldest. From Lauren Hardy to Anna. Subject, give it up while you still have the chance. I heard what happened. Why didn't you tell me? 
You see what happened? This is what happens when you don't listen to your mother. All I want is what is best for you. I already put you through school and now you want to do it again? And for what? Becoming a vet? This is the third time you got rejected from that school. Maybe it's time you realize that you're not cut out for this kind of nonsense. Everyone else is moving forward and you're the only person I know that wants to move back. Now that I know for sure you're not going anywhere anytime soon. I feel like that sentence should continue, but it doesn't. I suggest you put and end to this now. Love you, mom. Okay, so Lauren Hardy is Anna's mother. Then Anna Hardy might be, uh, Hardy might be Anna's last name, but it could easily not be. Whoa, why is this in all caps? Tim. Um, where are those data packets I asked for, Anna? This is the millionth time you're directly disobeying my instructions, and I'm wondering if you really are, this is horribly misspelled, really putting the interest of this company first. We're a surveillance outfit, and to be the best in the business, there must be sacrifices. Otherwise, I'm forced to question your loyalty. Please note your repeated offense of delayed work or shoddy tasks are being put into consideration regarding your appraisla, and this is a small industry. We decided to remove you access to the lab Wi-Fi, and should you be found bypassing this restriction, uh, there will be consequences. For someone who's supposed, su supposed to be in surveillance, you have a poor way of showing your focus. Your superior, Tim Faraday. What an incompetently written email. Jesus. Okay, so just wrote down, Tim Faraday is CEO of Faraday Safety, a security company Anna worked for. From no reply at pickedup.web. Picked up anything new? We're excited to hear from what you have picked up this week. We noticed from your picked library that you have a thing for nature outside the city. Missing the countryside? Do upload and share. We can't wait. In the meantime, here are some images your fellow community members have picked up. Hope they're food for thought. God, I hate things like this. Corporations and generated emails from algorithms trying to pretend that they're real people. We can't wait. You don't give a crap. Come on. You're not even a person. Maya M. That wouldn't be Maya Crane from the second game, would it? I mean, her name was Maya Crane. This is Maya M, so probably not. Can't tell. I don't think that's them. Ed at Faraday Security. Subject tech issues again. From Anna to Ed. Uh, hey, Ed. I th oh. Whoa. Let's go to the oldest one. Uh, hey, Ed, sorry to bother you with, these phone, with this phone stuff again. I updated to the Applesauce version of the OS, and it's pretty confusing. So, recently I reset and restored my phone, and I lost most of my chats, emails, and photos. Ugh. Weird part. So my messages are jumbled up or something. It says it's corrupted? I couldn't find anything about it in the official forums. It's not urgent, but it's really annoying that I can't get some of my pictures back. Or my old text. Would be great if you can help me out again, please. Coffee's on me. Cheers. Ah, so Anna was junior executive of Faraday Safety. Junior executive. What to now? Gallery? Oh, there's a lot there. Oh. From do at the right thing dot web. The right thing, right spelled like writing on a piece of paper. Students unable to feed themselves. The developed nations spend nights brooding over the issues of military defense, public health, and ailing economies. But there is a greater danger at large here, and more dangerous because it is ignored for being relatively harmless. It is the student debt. Each year, hundreds of graduates leave their campuses, 
entering the workforce with certifications. Their earnings are nominal at best, keeping them fed and clothed with a place to stay. Life is at a minimal and savings paltry or non-existent. That is, unless they're paying back their education debt. The growing ranks of middle-income families spark more doom than cheer. While human rights supporters sing praises for improvements in raising prosperity of the poor and homeless, including the educating the education of children to break out of the poverty cycle, they do not consider the increased commitments of entering a middle-income lifestyle. Yeah. Student debts are by far the lowest interest rate available in banks, but for young people barely making basic wage, it's a punishing uphill battle of mathematics. With parents saddled in their own student debt and mortgage, progressive generations of teenagers are beginning to feel the effects of taking a loan to attain their dream jobs through tertiary education. A more alarming trend is the rise of dropouts, not because of failing grades, but from failing finances. We are merely, merely moving the oppressive cycle from poverty to student debt, leaving families vulnerable to disruption in jobs, market forces, and currency injuries. What's a currency injury? Parents are moving their children into homeschool initiatives, while others follow the age-old tradition of apprenticeship. Slowly and surely, people are taking matters into their own hands of educating their young and not becoming enslaved to the debt engine. The collapse of the economy from property debt has only been too clear a warning sign for us all. Thanks for subscribing to The Right Thing. Hmm, I have a lot of thoughts about this. Well, first, is that the message from their mother? Um, you want to go to school again? This is the third time you've been rejected. But it sounds like they spent a lot of time in school. That combined with this thing about student debt makes me think that Anna was having issues with student debt. I wonder if that's how the Ripple Man got them. Because right? in the second game, the Ripple Man got the group and got Maya because they're influencers and it promised them fame and removing bad comments and boosting their likes and stuff like that. But what did it promise Anna? Because I don't think Anna's an influencer. The other thing I wanted to mention is, do middle-income people really have to worry about student debt that much? I mean, students have to worry about student debt all the time, but I don't know. In my mind, the idea of middle class is someone who's pretty well off. Gallery. Let's learn more about who Anna was. Oh, that needs to be fixed. 5th of July. Yeah, what kind of... What kind of date range do we have? 5th of July and right now it was... Was it August? The current date? I think so. Last one. Last picture is 13th of August. Yeah. Image corrupted. Select the fragments in the correct order to rebuild the image. Yeah, so this one needs to be the finisher piece because it doesn't include a corrupted section. Because if you do do ones that include a corrupted section, then every time you might get rid of the old, the last image's corruption, such as the... Actually, that's a very bad example. Such as this. I'll get rid of the old one, but then it has a new one. So the only one that doesn't add a new one is this. So I need to keep in mind that this is my end piece. So basically, I all I need to do is fill in the top right. And then make sure I don't add any corrupted pieces to the top right. So that's not acceptable. That is acceptable. Jim Selfie. Cat. Hmm. God, girls are cute. I love girls. I love cats. <laughs> Tobias. Okay, so we have the cat's name. So we have a friend.
coffee dough? Oh, that looks amazing. It was like chocolate pancakes with a big mound of ice cream, maybe whipped cream, strawberry. Who knows what else? Oh, I wonder what's in there. Is that a big pot of portable chocolate, I think? Hmm. Well, that's a place where they well, it's a place where they had that, but can't really see a name or anything in it. It's quite blurry. It's their flavors. Could be irrelevant. I don't think I'll write that down though. Okay, that's pretty gay. Were they a couple? I hope so. So the finisher is this, so we're aiming for the bottom right. Might be easier just to do them all and then see whether it works. Not try to figure it out ahead of time. Uh, that will not work. That will work. <laughs> Are they going comatose from the dessert? Oh god, that looks so good. Wait just a second. Who took this photo? Right, like back here I know Anna didn't take this photo, obviously. It's up there, but I figured that the friend's arm was maybe holding the phone down here. Might not be. But here, there's no way the friend's arm is holding it, and obviously Anna isn't, so who's taking this picture? Is there a third person? There's no way there's a the third person. They'd, they'd be in at least one of these photographs. What is that? Some sort of meat. I can't identify meat because I'm a vegetarian. I don't know. Chicken, maybe? What's going on in the background? Exciting stuff. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, cat's birthday. So basically the right side of the image is what we want to reconstruct. Too cute. Look at those beans. That's a new face. Oh, I think they're a couple. Oh, there's two pieces that are um, uncorrupted. Yeah, this one seems particularly difficult. It's got multiple corrupted pieces for each one. You might think I'm super smart and solve that super quick. To be honest, I just kind of clicked stuff and just saw what happened. I didn't figure it out ahead of time. So pretty.
I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Some sort of savory curled bread thing. Very thin. Some dipping sauces. What are you working on? Empty Excel spreadsheet. Suspicious. They have a green screen back here. This is making me so hungry. <laughs> oh, that's the final one. Looks like an accidental picture. Wait, what's the difference between camera and me? Maybe this is like a album? Dog! Dog! Bird. I oh, can really zoom in far, huh? Why does it keep focusing there? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if you look into my eyes, you can see it looking back. Can you see it? I just wanted to be happy. My name is Anna. My name. Is Anna. We already watched this, right? I don't think I want to watch it again. Mom, Merv, Ashley, and Greg. Oh, so those are the two friends. Yeah, Ashley's the one we saw in the early pictures. Greg, I think, is the one they're together with. No idea who Merv is. Let's take a look. 3rd of August. So pretty recent. Pretty close to their death. Uh, Merv, hey, you still with your boyfriend? Anna, come on, Merv. Merv, just asking. People are talking. Anna, have you considered that the things you say might come off as creepy? Merv, creepy? I'm just speaking my mind. Nothing wrong with that. Isn't company policy to get to know your colleagues better as well? Anna, yeah, but you need to tone it down, way down. Telling me to wear my bareback dress because it looks hot is not appropriate. Merv, you're making a big deal out of this. I'm just being honest. I can even tell you you're pretty. I don't get it. You're being way too sensitive. Chill, lol. I'm gonna be your gift, uh, your giver for the gift swap. You're gonna love what I have in mind for you. Gross. Okay, so they seem to work at the same company. So into my notes, I'm gonna write Merv works at Faraday Safety and is creeping on Anna. 
Mom, 4th of August. Uh, Mom, Anna, I have these cookies I need to pass to you. Anna. Mom, some other time, please. I told you. I have tiny shelves. There isn't any more space for food. Mom, it's only a box of them. Anna. Then why can't you finish it? Mom. Can a mother bring her daughter some food? Anna. I don't need it. That was the end of that conversation. Two days later. Mom, why aren't you answering your phone? Are you still there? Merv. Mom, all I ask is some space, okay? Mom, so you only want to see me when you need something. Anna. That's not true, Mom. Mom, then why are you avoiding me? Anna. I'm not. Mom. Then let me come over. Anna. I'm busy. Mom, you are always busy. It's like we're strangers now. Anna. Mom, I just want you to be supportive of my decision. That's all. Mom. Supportive? You say as if I never do anything for you. Who paid your rent when you took three months off to do that silly self-help course? You tell me it's going to be good for you. But what do you have to show at the end? All I ask is that you come see your mother every once in a while. Is that so difficult for you? Anna. Fine, Mom. Next time, I promise. Mom. Good. Two days later? Yeah, two days later. Mom. Anna. Aunt Penny is coming over for a visit soon. Hope you're keeping to your promise. Anna. Yeah, I can make it. Mom. I'll call you on when and where. And then the next day, Mom, I heard about what happened. Maybe it's time you listened to me for once and let it go. This world's not run by silly mantras or your sense of purpose. It's a material world. You work and you get paid. You live your life based on that. It's not that complicated. You have that already, so why are you so desperate to throw it away? About time you take what you have and be happy with it. You think I love what I do? You think anyone loves what they do? I want to support you. I really do. But not at the expense of your security. If you want to change your pace, Aunt Penny has a position in her company. It's doing quite well. Maybe I can recommend you. Are you there? Answer me so I don't have to file a missing persons report. Then Anna replies, Sorry, I'm at work. Just want to drown everything out for a bit. It's just... Every possible shitty thing that could happen happened at the same time, and it sucks. I know you're worried, but I'm okay. I'll call you soon, I promise. Love you. 11th of August. Mom, have you talked to Aunt Penny yet? Anna. Hi, Mom. Yeah, but I don't want to work at a PR firm. Mom, you said you want something different. Here I am trying to help you out. Again, you turn it down. What is it you want? Anna. Maybe if you listen to me, really listen, then you might come closer to understanding. She consults at a pet store, and that is not the same. Mom, nothing's ever enough for you, is it? Ungrateful. I give you so much. And this is the treatment I get? Anna. Fine. I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment. I'm trying to be better, but please, this is my own way. So much is happening right now. All I ask is that you trust me. I got nothing to show you now, but I will not give up. Mom. Okay. You know I do this because I love you, right? Anna. Yeah. Love you too, Mom. 13th of August. Mom, hello? 14th of August. Mom, hello? I don't know exactly what has happened between them or in Anna's life, but the mom, what is her name? I have it written down, uh, Lauren Hardy. So Lauren, Lauren does not come, come off good in this chat. They seem like an asshole. I hate it when I see parents acting as if the kids owe them something for the support that the parents have given the child. It's like you had a kid. It's your responsibility, it's your duty when you have a child to take care of them. It's not a gift, it's your duty.
Ashley. 28th of July, 2017. Uh, Ashley, it happened again. Ugh. Anna, long day, huh? Let me guess. It's the meetings again, right? Ashley, how late can someone be for a team meeting? Half an hour, and I get called to the office for extending my lunch time by just five minutes. Anna, nailed it. Ashley, being the editor-in-chief doesn't turn you into the queen of the world. It was so last minute, and I had to rush like a maniac. Dropped everything just to be on time. Had to skip my afternoon latte. I grumpy and scowled at the assistant again. Shit. This is the second time I lost my shit this week. Anna, see? You gotta be chill and watch your temper. Ashley. No, it's my watch. I thought I had it with me. I can't remember where I put it. Anna. Oh. Do you want me to check my place? Ashley. Never mind, I'm sure it'll turn out somewhere. Anna, you'd lose your head if it wasn't attached to you. Ashley. So, is that supposed to be a face of some sort? I don't know what that is. Um, Anna, you still want to go out later? Ashley. Yes, please. Vortex Club. Anna. <laughs> okay, talk to you later then. I've got to finish an application first. Then later that night, hey, on my way. Ashley. Okay, hi. And then 29th of July, is that the day after? Yes. Day after, Ashley, why'd you leave? Anna. Greg wasn't feeling it. Ashley. You missed out. Dancing with me. Anna. <laughs> Next time, I promise. Anyways, looks like you had fun with Victor. Ashley. I did have fun with Victor. Anna. <laughs> Night. Ashley, night. 30th of July. Anna, thanks for listening to me. Ashley, that's what I'm here for. Trying to get some rest, okay? 31st of July. Anna, I can't believe that guy. Shit. You know what he literally just did? Ashley. Oh, wait. Wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. He didn't lift the toilet seat? And tell you that it's your... It's your responsibility, too? You know what happened to me once? And then Anna says, Ashley. Ashley. Sorry, sorry. Okay, tell me. Anna. So, I confronted him about it. And he again denied it. Oh. Select the words in the correct order to rebuild the message. I guess you can use the capitalization as a hint, so the S is capitalized, so that must be the first word. Right, him has a period at the end, so we know the beginning and we know the end. So, something, 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 him. There we go, so I took his phone and showed it to him. Ashley, no way! You looked through his phone? Anna, it's wrong, I know. I'm not the jealous type, really I'm not. Ashley. I know that, babe. Anna. But it was just there. A message came in. And I just looked. Ashley. Hey, I'm not judging. Whatever it takes to be completely sure, you know? At least now you know. You can let the whole thing go now. Anna. You should see his face. And he has the nerve to accuse me of invading his privacy. He yelled at me. I told him to leave. And that's the end of it. Ashley. Hugs for me, okay? So what did he say he's going to do about it? Anna. Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to know. Hurts to think about it. Thanks, Ashley. Ashley. For what? Anna. Listening. I know it's very difficult, a very difficult thing for you to do. Ashley. <laughs> Lol, bitch. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> Um, Ashley, just let me know if you need anything, okay? Anything. <laughs> Lol, bitch. <laughs> oh, they're cute together. If only they were a couple instead of Anna and Greg. So, uh, here's what I think happened. It sounds like, um, Anna saw some messages, I assume, from some other woman that they thought, uh, Greg was probably having an affair on them with. And based on what I know about the Ripple Man, and how it puts people in a desperate position, 
so that they have to take the deal. Uh, I would say the Ripple Man was probably sending those messages and faking, just faking them to Greg's phone just to make um, Anna be worried about it and, and break up their relationship to try to break Anna, make them more likely to accept the, sac the deal and make a sacrifice or whatever it is they want. Let's check out Greg. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to type in something. They mentioned the Vortex Club as being a place where they're going to meet. So Vortex Club, Ashley and Anna met at 1st of August. Pick up my calls, will you? Please. Come on. Starts with you and ends with... Don't know. They didn't put a period at the end of their sentence. Oh, I think I know what it says. You are the one that went out of line. When you went through my property. I'm not even mad, just disappointed. But I know... But I know you are? I'm not sure what they mean by that. So talk to me. I can explain everything. I'll let you cool off first. Two days later, Greg, hello, it's been a while, how are you feeling? Four days later, Greg, I'm taking care of everything, okay? Just give me a few days and I'll sort things out. You can't ignore me forever, Anna. Two days later, can you stop being so emotional right now? This is difficult for me too. It's not just you. This shit is punishing enough for me, so I don't need your crap as well day after. Could you just hear me out for one minute? One? It's settled. You have nothing to worry about anymore. We need to talk in person, so please answer me. Anna? Fuck this silent treatment shit! Oh, fuck it so much! <laughs> I get it. Fuck it! But I get it. Get back to me when you're ready. I'm gonna give you a week. Okay? I wanna give you space. Oh my god. First, this part sounds hilarious. Anna? Anna? Oh, I can't skip through it. I'll just play Anna? it. Fuck this silent treatment shit. This part. Oh, fuck it so much. Fuck it so much. <laughs> it's delivered so bizarrely. I don't even care if Greg actually didn't cheat on Anna or even didn't do anything wrong. I just hate Greg now. Five days later. They said you didn't come into work today. Are you blocking my calls now? Or end your blocking my calls now? Where on earth are you? I can reply. Can I reply to any of the others? No. Should I say something? Who is this? I mean, we know who that is. You've got the wrong person? That's kind of a weird thing to say. Sure. You've got the wrong person. And a finally, finally you decide to answer. What the hell do you mean wrong person? Um, I'm not... Mm. I don't, I don't know who I am. I don't know what role I should take here. I'm not who you think I am. What are you rambling about? Is this some kind of trick to stop me from reaching you? You're better than this, Anna. You keep nagging me, but there's a couple we need more. So let's talk. Sounds like you and Anna got issues. Oh. You're not Anna? For real? Who is this? You're not her new fling or anything, are you? In case you're unaware, we're dating.
Should I just try and piss off Greg just for the fun of it? I know this game has multiple endings just like the second one, and I have to assume I'm probably going to get a bad ending just like I did with the second one. So, I don't know. Why don't we just have some fun? She's kind of cute. Let's try to piss off Greg. This is ridiculous. So you don't know, Anna? Why are you holding her phone then? Okay, we gotta be serious now. I think someone sent me this phone. Did Anna send you her phone? It's kind of odd. I think she's in danger. Huh? Is she okay? Anna left a weird video. Send me that video. Now. That's not what it was when I viewed it. some kind of sick joke. It's just static and noise. If you did something to Anna, I swear to God. Looks like it deleted itself. What the fuck is going on? Okay, whoa. Hello? Who the hell is this? Answer me. Where did you get the phone? Is Anna with you right now? Are you ignoring me? Yeah. Hey, why are you not talking? Oh, uh, the reception was bad? Take it off silent mode or something. Is my call not going through? Ah, shit, something came up. I'll try again later. And you better answer. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it there. Just like the second game, the saves are few and far between, and we got one just a little bit ago. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon where we'll try to find Anna. Probably going to take us more than one more episode to find Anna, though. <laughs>